Now at five, workers at an Akron smoke shop cleaning up the damage tonight after it was broken into this morning. That business is just one of two broken into twice within the last month. And you're looking at surveillance video here from police capturing the moment thieves ransacked the businesses. This latest break hit happening just this morning and police believe the crimes will continue until the crooks are captured. Tonight, News 5's Bob Jones has the latest and how you can help. As Chris Sanchez swept up broken glass inside the Valley Smoke Shop in Akron. It really gets under my skin. A feeling of frustration swept over him. I live off pretty much minimum wage and bonuses. Not getting many bonuses when people are stealing your items and breaking the windows. Surveillance video from September 26 shows glass shattering in two people in hooded sweatshirts breaking into the vape shop, stealing a bunch of stuff and bolting 30 seconds later. And then at 4.30 this morning, another break in through the replaced window. Purses, cigars and other smoking materials all snatched. Honestly, it's just a stupid move. One, you're an idiot, you're caught on multiple cameras. Secondly, it's in my opinion, is a cowardly thing to do. Akron Police Lieutenant Michael Miller says Jetson's smoke and vape boutique was also hit twice within a month. Surveillance video again shows thieves wearing masks and hoodies, quickly loading up bags before getting away. The other unfortunate part about it is the thousands of dollars it's costing these business owners to replace that damage. Akron police believe a small group is likely responsible for the smash and grabs. The type of crime detectives say often continues until the crooks are captured. While detectives say the smash and grabs happened after business hours, there is concern that someone could get hurt if the break ins in Akron keep happening. There could be someone inside doing inventory, working extended hours. So you are confronted by someone potentially coming in. You don't know what their intentions are, if they're armed or not. The surveillance videos do not show clear images of the thieves' faces, but police are hoping someone will see something that leads to clues and IDs. As far as our officers go, our detectives, I mean, we're working hard to identify the people responsible. Valley Smoke Shop, how can I help you? As for Chris, he's trying to get back to business as usual after venting his frustrations, but he does have a final message to those targeting small businesses. What's called the law doesn't get you, Carnival. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.